So let's go over the paragraph that you wrote for the prompt. What do you think is a common misconception about job interviews? And first up, I think you did a really nice job with the paragraph. I think you explained it really well. Think, and I thought you. you had really good paragraph format. So good job. All right. Thank you. Uh, so let's go sentence by sentence in the paragraph. So maybe we'll have you read a sentence and then I'll make any comments or suggestions. And, and just so you know, some of them are, some of the comments I might make are optional. So then you can choose what you'd like to do with them. Okay. okay. All Sounds right. So good. here we go. Sentence one. Okay. Uh, one of the misconceptions that people, including me about job interviews is that we have to check off all requirements. Okay. So, and I think that's probably really true. People do think that you just have to check off all the boxes, all the requirements, and maybe that's not necessarily true. You could maybe learn along the way. Right. So one, um, and just, this would be just a, a comment that I'm not sure this, maybe this is not necessary. Mm. And that, that I think is up to you. Mm-hmm. Um, to say, including me, mm -hmm. sorry, I want to get both of those words okay. um, because I'm having trouble typing. I think it's obvious that this is what you think since you're writing the paragraph. So mm. I think you could delete that and your paragraph would still have a really solid topic sentence. Mm -hmm. If you want to include it, then you should offset it with commas. Do you know what that means? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So comma in the beginning and comma at the end. Gotcha. Okay. But I, I'm going to make that as a comment because I think that's just an optional choice that is dependent upon you as the writer and your style and the message you want to convey. Okay. I think it would be helpful if you added the word have here. Mm. So one of the misconceptions that people, including me, have about job interviews. It was kind of missing the verb there. So for clarity's sake, right? Gotcha. And is that we have to check off all requirements. I wonder if you might want to say is that we think we have to check off all requirements mm. just to give it a little bit more detail and a little bit more, um, Clarity, I think, for the reader. Okay. And I would hear, I would add the word that we have to check off all the uh, requirements. Mm. And then I might add, and this is perhaps optional, but I'm going to add it here instead of making it a comment, is um, for the job. Mm. And that just... I think gives it a little bit more context, um, zeroed in information. So if you were to make these changes, here's how I think that first sentence might read. Mm. One of the misconceptions that people have about job interviews is that we think we have to check off all the requirements for the job. Mm, okay. So I don't, I don't think I changed your meaning very much. Yes. I think it just adding some words here and there gives it a little bit more, um, clarity, detail and definition and clarity. Yeah. Okay. So your next sentence here, starting with, for instance, how about read that sentence for me? Alrighty. For instance, when I was looking at jobs that I was interested in applying for, to be honest, I think I didn't even apply for four or five applications out of 10 out of 10 because I didn't think I met all the requirements. Okay. Is that really true? Yep. It was true. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, hopefully this is a good learning experience for you that you can always apply <laughs> yes, <laughs> even if you exactly. don't maybe meet all the requirements. <laughs> um, okay. So a couple of thoughts here. Um, this expression right here, when I was looking at jobs that I was interested in applying for, we try not to end a phrase like that in a preposition, which is what for would be. Mm, okay. So another way that you could say that without, so that you didn't end in a preposition, for instance, when I was looking at jobs for which I 
was interested in applying. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, so now you said the same thing, but you didn't end your phrase in a preposition. Right. This, to be honest, I think I would maybe say this is not necessary. Mm. And I would leave that up to you, the writer. But mm -hmm. as the reader, it's like when you say to be honest, it's like, well, of course you're being honest. That's the whole purpose of, of the writing. So I don't think that you would need that. Mm, let me see. Okay. And please ask if you have questions. I hope I'm explaining along the way. Oh, really? This yeah. is just a, this is kind of a, a grammar thing is when you use numbers in writing, if it's a single digit number, so zero to nine, mm -hmm. you would spell it out. You oh, would not use the digits. Okay. So that should be for F O U R. And then this should be five F I V E, not the digit five. That's good to know. Yeah. Okay. Technically, this should be 10, mm. as in one zero, the digits. Mm -hmm. But myself, I feel like that looks kind of funky mm -hmm. to see four spelled out and five spelled out and then to have 10. So it might be grammatically correct, mm -hmm. but I think I would type it as 10 okay. just so you have similarity and it's all common in the whole sentence. Right. Okay. Okay. So then that would read, uh, for instance, when I was looking at jobs for which I was interested in applying and maybe get rid of to be honest, I think I didn't even apply for four or five applications out of 10 because I didn't think I met all the requirements. Mm, okay. Does that sound good to you? It does. Much better. Okay. Well, good. I'm here to help. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So last sentence here. Would you read this one for me? And I have already read your paragraph. So I'm going to give you the heads up that I was a little bit confused about the second half of this sentence. So as you Ooh. read it, maybe think about if it's conveying exactly what you wanted it to say. Okay. Okay. Yep. However, Looking back, I didn't need to meet all the requirements for the position that I had last time because I'm not sure. I didn't even check off the half of the requirements. Wow, this is a long sentence. It is a long sentence, which I don't I don't think that's bad necessarily. Mm -hmm. Um I just wasn't sure. So forget how you wrote it. Tell me in your own words what you're saying in that sentence. Um Probably um, you're talking about the first part or the later. So part? you're okay. So looking back, okay, looking you back, think you didn't need to meet all the requirements of a position. Maybe I should ask it. So looking back, you didn't need to meet the requirements of a previous position mm -hmm. because you didn't even have half of the requirements. Is that what you meant to say? Yes. Okay. So do you, when you read it back to yourself, does it sound, does the end sound confusing? Yeah. It was a little bit confusing. Yeah. Okay. So, and I think maybe we could make it, it is a long sentence. I don't think that's bad, but maybe that's part of the way, reason why I got lost towards the end. So if you said, however, looking back, I didn't, you didn't need to meet or you didn't meet. I didn't meet, yes. Okay, let's get rid of that. Mm -hmm. I didn't meet all the requirements for... A prev uh... My previous uh, right. position. My previous position, yes. Let's, so, however, looking back, I didn't meet all the requirements for my previous position. And let's, let's call that done. Okay. And since you're the one who commented, it was a long sentence. Mm -hmm. And then um, maybe if we pull that part out and then just end it with, I am sure I didn't even check off half of the requirements for that position. Mm, okay. But did you still get hired? I did. Look at me. Yeah. Yeah, you. <laughs> mm. 
That makes sense. Much better. Yeah. Okay. So then let's read it back. And I know it gets kind of confusing, but however, looking back, I didn't meet all the requirements for my previous position. I am sure I didn't even check off. I think we don't need this. Half of the requirements for that position, but I still was hired. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you think you even want to try reading it through one time or is it yeah, kind of I, confusing I can try. with all these changes? I think I can try, but if okay, there's give anything it a try. I'm missing, yes. Oh, one of the misconceptions that people have about job interviews is that we think we have to check up all the requirements for the for the job. For instance, when I was looking at jobs for which I was interested in applying to Oh, I think I didn't even apply for a four or five uh, applications out of 10 because I didn't think I met all the requirements. However, looking back, I didn't meet all the requirements for my previous position. I am sure I didn't even check up half of the requirements for that position, but I'm but I still was hired. Quick question. Yeah. So I still was hired or I was Yeah, I don't know. When, when you read that, I think we should say I was still hired. Do you think yeah. so? I think. But I agree. Yeah, it, it sounds more natural. When you read me, it, but... it sounded kind of awkward. So. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you so much. You are welcome. I hope that was helpful. And again, I really think you had a solid paragraph with a good introduction about, you know, one of the misconceptions went right on into it. And then I like if you choose to end it this way, it's like got a positive ending, but I was still hired. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Alrighty. All right. You're welcome.